Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I will be teaching you how to stream in OBS Studio. So, many people have asked me this since I'm mainly a streaming YouTuber right now and many people want to start out streaming, they want to try it out, they want to stream Grotopia like I do and this tutorial will help you how to make a stream that looks like mine or you can make it look like yours like your original idea your original stream so this video will help you out how to make everything that I use in my stream so you will learn about alerts how to make overlays uh, subscriber counters different settings and how to game capture without seeing what you're doing in the background and everything that you need to know to make a good looking stream. I will also teach you a little bit about Streamlabs. It's a website where you can get all these cool little tweaks or this cool stuff like the subscriber counter uh, right here uh, or you can get this viewer counter and this alert and you can set up donation uh, tickers and everything so yeah I will go through all those things in this tutorial and I hope that this will help you learn about streaming and that I helped everyone who asked me about how to stream so yeah let's begin so first off I just have to describe what everything is and what everything does because it may seem a little bit complicated at the beginning so the first thing I need to describe is the scenes. What is a scene and what does it do? So I will teach you how to make this main screen, also the, the basic game scene. So yeah, let's start off with the starting scene. Right here I have a few sources. A source is what is going to be shown on the screen uh, at what time, so yeah. As, yeah many different sources you can just click this plus right here and you have image uh, audio capture color source browser source browser source is used a lot so i will just uh, teach you more about that in a in a minute also you have media source different scenes and just a lot of different stuff so you can also have text right here so in this starting scene I have text, I have a chat that is shown up right here, I have a timer, I have a, have the GT gameplay running here, I have a box that I made here, uh, I don't know why I changed it right now, I have the alert in case someone subscribes while I'm in the scene, this will pop up when someone subscribes and I will teach you more about alerts in, in a while. Yeah, so to start off you want to click this plus name your scene I will call this tutorial uh, just because and I don't even know how to write but yeah then you will just get this black screen and really where do I start yeah you gotta click on sources because see you don't have any sources right here and yeah you gotta add sources to make your stream look a little bit different than just this black screen so yeah I will just start off by adding the Grotopia gameplay so you can get the gameplay you know you want to get the gameplay so it is two different screen captures you have the display capture and you have the game capture the game capture will record the full screen game but the display capture will just record the screen so now you will see that it will just record the screen uh, no matter what you look at so if you wanna look at other stuff while you're streaming you will not use this you will use the game capture I will use I'll just name this for game you can name it whatever you would like to but I like to call it game because I like to keep it very clean so yeah this uh, I would recommend putting this on capture specific window and then you get these three different options right here you can select the window right here it says Grotopia so you just click that and yeah you can already see the Grotopia gameplay right here and anything else you don't have to change you can also change capture cursor if you don't want people to see 
your cursor when you move around click on stuff so yeah you can uncheck that if you would like to but I like to show my cursor so yeah right now you have the game capture it's quite easy you can resize everything by dragging these corners right here and it's quite easy also a smart trick if you hold alt plus drag in these corners you just cut the window it is very smart to use if you want subscriber counters and stuff like that you can cut out parts you don't want so yeah very smart hold alt plus drag the corner second we would like to add a overlay I just have a overlay from before uh, you just name this overlay and here you can select a picture from your computer so yeah I would just select my overlay here's my overlay I already made it from before this is the overlay I usually do use so yeah just click OK and you're ready to go you have the overlay you can also drag that around move it to wherever you would like to move it but I already made it so it fits the screen third you would like to add a subscriber counter because many people like to have a subscriber counter and yeah let's do that now let's go over to making a subscriber counter so to make this you will just have to go to this website right here livecounts.net write your channel name in right here and your subscribers will pop up so after you did that just copy the link remember to copy it after writing your channel name then go over to OBS go to browser source browser source is where you can add um, subscriber counter browser source is where you can add uh, websites to show up on your screen so just where it says URL copy paste in your uh, your link and then click OK and you will see that your subscriber counter pops up uh, right now you have to use the trick uh, on holding alt dragging these corners over to uh, here and here and now you have a good looking subscriber counter you might see that there's a little bit blue behind this uh, counter and maybe you just want the numbers so to do that you will add an effect to this or a filter as it's called then you just right click the source and click filters then click the plus sign here go to the chroma key chroma key is used to remove colors uh, from a picture or from a video this can be used as a green screen then you just select you click custom color select color and then add or pick screen color right here now you can select any color from over the whole screen just select this one and then you will see everything pops uh, gets removed oh why you see this right here you can select you can change up all these different things to make it look just as you want so you can change the similarity the smoothness um, this color and I found out this works the best so yeah you just have to try yourself to find the best and yeah now you can resize this and put it right here where you want it to be now you have a live counter you have the overlay and you have the game capture also keep in mind that you will have to uh, make these sources in correct order so look now you see the subscriber counter that is on top so if I put that one layer down it will be behind the overlay so on top is uh, in the front and the bottom is the bottom so if I put the overlay underneath the gameplay it will be underneath the gameplay so it's, it's kind of logical you just have to try yourself uh, to understand I hope that I describe this very easily very easy to understand and yeah now let's go over to making the world name because maybe you want your world name to show off or just to make a text on your overlay 
So just click here, text, and then name it to world, for example. Now we can just write whatever you would like to write world really GT. So that's my world. You can change the color, you can change everything, the size. And it's very cost customizable. customizable. It's very customizable. You can just try yourself and click OK. You can change up everything and make it whatever you like. So now I have, have it like this. This is mostly what is shown on my stream. Um, but I have alert. I have this viewer counter. I will teach how to do that in just a second. But first I will have to show you how to connect uh, OBS up to YouTube so you can start streaming when you click on this start streaming button. So uh, if you go to settings right here you will see this. If you click on stream uh, this is what you need. Uh, actually I have this on Twitch I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna change that to YouTube. Um, so, go to stream, and then you see this streaming services. You just click on streaming services here. Change this to the platform. Maybe you stream on Twitch, uh, but I stream on YouTube. So yeah, I select YouTube. Uh, don't change this, just keep it on primary YouTube ingest server. And this, stream key. It is not shown for me because I have to click this button, but if I show that, if I click show, a long key will pop up and that is what you need to connect it with your YouTube channel. So let's hop over to YouTube. You should probably know how to get over to the YouTube live stream place. So this is what you will see when you go on the streaming dashboard. You can also go to this link right here to go to your dashboard. Um, that's the easiest way. Right here it says stream key. This is the place you will place the key where you find right here. Okay? Then you just have to click save on everything and that's basically it. Also you need to click apply here to make it make a change. I will go over all the settings after making this so it will be the best experience for you now let's go over to alerts and viewer counters donation tickers and a lot of cool features okay so what you want to do you go to the website named streamlabs i will put a link in the description so it's easier for you to find and when you get in here you can log in with facebook if you want to stream on facebook you can log in with YouTube if you want to stream with YouTube and Twitch if you want to stream with Twitch. But since I'm a YouTuber, I'm logging with YouTube. After logging in, you will see a page something like this. So this will pop up. You will see everyone who has subscribed in a while. You will see all these cool widgets as it's called. Alert box, stream boss, goals, jar, donation ticker, chat box, viewer account. But for this, I will use the viewer counter. So, right here, you can customize everything. Text color, um, size, and everything like that. You just click on copy uh, this URL. Go over to OBS and click on browser source again. Because now it's a link and you want to use this at view viewer counter. So yeah. This, I call this viewer counter, so you know what it is. I just paste the link in here. I just paste the link in there. And yeah, here we go. Here you have this wonderful small box uh, with your viewers. Oh. Right here. So you can just resize this however you would like to. And you can move everything to make it look good. So now, if someone joins your stream, this will change to the number of viewers so now you have that you have everything set to go uh, now I will just add the small picture I have for that I just go over to image head or something then browse go to your pictures select the picture you would like to I want this head then I'll just resize it 
to the size I want move this a little bit over to here and put this here so yeah now I have this cool little head uh, to just it's just a cool icon now this looks just like my stream uh, if you want alerts it's just the same you just have to go to alert box and then customize go to subscribers customize however you would like it to be and then just copy this browser source and then it's set to go it's that simple guys so now I hope this helped you a lot on starting off uh, this is basically all you need to know to start streaming if it was very hard to understand just leave me a message so I could I could redo this video to make it a lot easier to understand um, now let's just go over the settings to make it lag less to make it better you go over to general here you can select the language you can uh, for example snap sensitivity these are just the different settings for customizing your uh, thing this is a stream thing you already changed that uh, output this is important so output you want to put it to simple video bitrate it depends very much on your internet uh, I put it to 2500 because I have a super good internet uh, maybe you have to put it to 1000 uh, it depends you just have to try yourself and find the best the one that lags the less okay encoder put it to so uh, this one software x264 and audio bitrate i put it to 160 for the best quality this is the recording settings i don't record with obs so you don't have to change anything in here audio uh, just post the video change everything to this 44 gigahertz uh, stereo this depends on what microphone you have uh, this right here is the audio de device it's my blue snowball uh, and yeah that's basically everything you have to change uh, you can also add like push to talk push to mu mute uh, buttons but I don't use that for video this depends on what size of your monitor you have I have a 1920 by 1080 uh, monitor so I select this one this is what happens when uh, the network lags it changes to this resolution so just put it to something smaller than the basic re uh, resolution so yeah so it can change uh, I just have this on B cubic and also put this to 60 FPS also hotkeys here you can add a ton of different hotkeys uh, on different stuff you can enable sources disable sources everything with like that with hotkeys advanced nothing special you don't have to change anything in there click ok and that's it you're ready to go you're ready to stream and I hope this tutorial helped you a lot um, because yeah many people asked and I hope that this helps you if I do something in Grotopia now it will also happen in the game Mm, just a small tip if you have a hard time on moving stuff because it locks up to other sources just hold control and you can move it uh, without it locking onto corners and borders so yeah instead of this happening you can just hold control and you can move it wherever you want so yeah I hope this helped you a lot and I'll see you in the next stream or on the next video if you wonder about something, if you have any questions, remember to ask me in the comment section. Leave a like. Let's try to hit 20 likes for the first video in a while. Okay? Uh, thank you so much for 2000 subscribers. Thank you so much for 2200. It means a lot to me. And I can see my growth. And it's insane. I'm so happy. And I'm so lucky that I can be here. And I'm so thankful. So yeah. If you want a tutorial how I make my overlays, how I make my art, just leave a comment and I'll do a tutorial on that as well. Have a nice evening or morning and I'll see you next time.